Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, Ramadan is one of the uh, special seasons. It's a distinct season. Uh, and one of the distinct aspects of it is that it's the month of mercy. The Prophet wasallam said, when the month of Ramadan begins, the gates of mercy open. It is the month during which Allah Azza wa showers his slaves with his mercy. And uh, there are different aspects that embody the, uh, the mercy of Allah Azza wa during this month uh, on his slaves. Uh, one of which is that uh, we're not the first to be commanded to uh, fast Ramadan. As Allah Azza wa says, كَمَا كُتْبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ As it was enjoined upon those who were before you. So knowing that this command was addressing or had addressed other people prior to us, psychologically makes it easier to adhere to the command. And this is out of the mercy of Allah Azza wa uh, if Ramadan was an individual obligation in the sense that a person alone is, in, is commanded to do it and not a communal one, not everybody is, uh, is commanded to do it, then it would have been uh, more difficult, it would have been tougher. But to be in an environment where everybody is practicing the same act of worship, everybody is fasting, it facilitates fasting for the believer. And again, this is out of the mercy of Allah. It's a mercy to our bodies and our souls. Uh, it's a scientific proven fact that fasting improves and enhances the performance of the body as well as enhancing the mood, the psychological mood of the person and therefore uh, the, the, uh, the soul elevates to its Lord and thus uh, the, the uh, inclination towards sin, if you may, weakens. And that's the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. Suhoor is an aspect of mercy from Allah Azza wa Jal. You see, legislating the pre-dawn meal, suhoor, uh, in Ramadan is, is an aspect of mercy if you look at it from a certain angle, you have to wake up to take, to take, to eat this pre-dawn meal. And that happens before Fajr. Allah Azza wa Jalla, the last part of the night, the last third of the night, descends in a way that befits His Majesty and accepts repentance, accepts dua, accepts those who ask His forgiveness. As the Prophet وسلم, said, every night Allah Azza wa Jal descends to the heavens when there is one third of the night remaining, that last third of the night. And he says, is there anyone who is supplicating me so that I would honor his supplication? Is there anyone who is asking me for something so that I can grant him that thing? Is there anyone who is asking my forgiveness so that I would forgive him? So having to wake up to eat that meal during that period is an aspect of mercy from Allah Azza wa Jal. Because you can eat that and supplicate Allah Azza wa Jal for forgiveness. Another aspect of, of uh, mercy during Ramadan is that repentance is facilitated. Acts of worship are facilitated by Allah Azza wa Jal. How? Well, one of them is that Allah Azza wa Jal chains the devils and thus reduces their uh, impact and evil influence on human beings. And thus performing acts of worship, the heart turning to Allah Azza wa Jal becomes facilitated. When Allah Azza wa Jal tells us that the gates of Jannah are open and the gates of Jahannam are closed, it's a motivation for us to act, to do more, to be able to, be, to, be able to enter from the gates of uh, Jannah. Now, after all of these aspects of mercy, after Allah had facilitated Ramadan for us, 
the one who comes out of Ramadan without being forgiven is indeed the deprived one. The Prophet Sallallahu one day, as narrated by uh, Malik ibn al-Huwayrith, started ascending the, the uh, steps of the, of, of the pulpit. And after the first one, he said, Ameen. And then he went up another one, he said, Ameen. And then he went up the third one, and then he said, Ameen. And then he sat down. So the companions asked him about the reason of the Ameen, 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 he was saying. He said, Jibreel came to me and said, May his nose be rubbed in dust. Meaning, may he be humbled and humiliated. The one who lives long enough to reach Ramadan and yet does not get his sins forgiven. And then he said, say Ameen. So I said, Ameen. So let's work hard to avoid being amongst these people, this category of people, and take advantage of the mercy of this month. Assalamu alaikum.